this is a sort of interesting vista. Directly on the left here is the Copper Box Arena, the Olympic Park. That sort of tower, I don't know, that's something to do with, uh, I don't know what it is actually. And then over there you've got the, some of the old industrial buildings in Hackney Wick. This isn't my usual video. Just, uh, just come back from Ramsgate. I'm walking, just walking straight from Stratford International into the West End, I think, or into the city. So, just some vignettes from along the way. Some snapshots of the city. A city in fragments. This is going to be a walk along what must be, well certainly this must be the shortest canal in London, if not the entire country. The Hartford Union Canal. I'm starting here where the Hartford Union Canal joins the Lee Navigation. You can see the Olympic Stadium there in the background. And then it runs down here through Hackney and joins up with the Regent's Canal on the other side of Victoria Park. This is uh, on Roman Road, just opposite the junction with Bonner Street. On the plaque it reads, erected by the East End Dwellings Company, 1888. This area is Globe Town like the previous clip as well, the Roman Road. Milton House to the left and Moore House to the right. Something going on to do with Utopia over there isn't there I think. Green Road and Cambridge Heath Road. G. Kelly's Pie and Mesh Shop. It's always great to see these guys surviving and thriving. most legendary cafes, E. Polici. Holywell Lane. There was a Holywell somewhere near the source of the uh, Walbrook rises in a what was a field not far from here in Moorgate. This is Holywell Lane, an ancient way leading off Shoreditch High Street which itself is the beginnings of a Roman road, Ermin Street. Shoreditch Holywell. From the 12th to the 16th century, miraculous properties were attributed to the water of the Holy Well in Shoreditch, mentioned by Fitzstephen in 1180, which was choked up in the middle of the 18th century. Holywell Street and Well Lane, EC, are named from it. An abbey of Benedictine nuns was built near it in the 12th century, of which relics remained until the middle of the 18th century. In 1904, the well was said to be concealed in a marble mason's yard in Bateman's Row. This is the continuation of Holy Well Lane. My favourite bit of public art in London. On the side of this multi-storey car park, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader do battle.
Sunday evening. It's the only time to come walking around the city, I think. You have it all to yourself. It's fantastic. We're right here on the edge of the square mile, underneath the cranes, you know, and the, and the great towers of glass and steel. And yeah, this little corner here looks like it belongs somewhere else completely different, doesn't it? The old topography of the city, the old lanes reveal themselves to us. That's New North Place on there. And the other branch is Hollywell Row. So the hunt for the Holy Well continues. This is my map for today. So you can see why I'm talking about this walk as a city in fragments. <laughs> so we're here and the uh, River Walbrook or well, the Walbrook rises around here somewhere. I've walked there before, it's a lovely walk. I think this is Worship Street so you can see the continuation of the uh, religious references. Holywell Row, Worship Street. Now that really would be a diversion, wouldn't it? I feel like the Barbican's a bit like the Death Star. As soon as you get anywhere within its orbit, it just sucks you into it and you're helpless to resist. Loads of people in the Barbican Centre just hanging out, killing time. I really love it for that. It's one of those rare spaces where you're quite at liberty to go in there and sit on your laptop, read a book, have a sleep, just enjoy the ambience. Through Smithfield, the smooth field, a place of prophecy and vision place where a bloke called John Rogers the martyr was burnt at the stake in the 1550s I think so I always get a little bit of the bejeebies when I walk through Smithfield this is where Sir John Betjeman lived he was a poet laureate I used to really like Sir John Betjeman I mean I still do but you know and aside from John Rogers some other bloke who was executed on this spot, or near this spot at Smithfield. But they never made a film about John Rogers, just about this uh, William Wallace bloke. Come on, Mel Gibson. Look at that. No people, no cars. So this is John Rogers' church. You can see it was built on the site of a Saxon church, dedicated to St Edmund. They went and among famous names associated with the church are John Rogers, vicar, first Protestant martyr. Dragons of the City of London, beware, there be dragons. winged lion. It's a totally normal thing to see walking around the streets. Chancery Lane Station. Feels like the end of the walk. I jump on the central line back to Leightonstone. 